Do you love marketing? Then let's go back a hundred years when the written word was your only tool. This was before television, before foul language and sexual innuendos were allowed, when advertising was a thousand times more challenging. There was a gentleman named Claude Hopkins, and I want you to appreciate this because here was a guy who spent 40 to 50 years working 18-hour days, seven days a week, working, creating, and obsessing over the topic of advertising. He was one of the best, a true legend in the industry. His influence is immeasurable. He discovered, recorded, and then in 1923, carved 21 laws into advertising history. In a minute, we'll be exploring these 21 immutable principles. Before we do this, I have to warn you and apologize in advance because this is almost a disservice to you. Because if you take what I say without actually reading this book, then you're missing out on all the subtle nuances that come from that come direct from the father of measurable as advertising himself. And it's through this, through these little nuances, where your most powerful distinctions are made. So do yourself a favor and read the book, Scientific Advertising. Now, if you're serious about marketing or in the business of advertising, you should literally read this book at least 10 times before you ever accept a dime from a paying client. Matter of fact, to get the full story, there are three other books I recommend reading in this order. So scientific advertising is the essential work, views, and insights of Claude Hopkins. And I also recommend my life in advertising so you can see the experiences he had, how he learned to have these views. The third book is Taken at the Flood, the story of Albert Lasker, who worked for Hopkins and presents another context of his laws. Finally, the Lasker story, an interesting perspective on his reemergence when reinventing Lord and Thomas, one of advertising's all-time giant advertising agencies. Listen, here's the deal. In business, there is no need to recreate the wheel. Marketing, innovation, and advertising, while it is part art, it is also a science. While the industry has evolved, I'm hard-pressed to believe anyone with a sound mind can dispute these fundamental laws. Here's my quick crash course summary overview of Claude C. Hopkins' 21 Laws of Scientific Advertising. Advertising is a science. Advertising is salesmanship in print. You need to be of service. Study direct mail. Lead with a great headline and opening statement. Understand human psychology. Be specific. Tell your full story. Use art only to augment your advertising. Know your costs. Do your homework. Be strategic. Offer free samples, get distribution, test your campaigns, do not rely too much on others, be unique in a pleasing way, avoid negative ad campaigns, write letters, have a good name, operate a good business. Read the book. If you take marketing seriously, this book is on your top shelf. It is well-worn and full of notes. And let me remind you, business has only two functions, marketing and innovation. Look, if I were in your shoes, if I had a well-structured business, I would want this knowledge at my fingertips. If you find this video helpful, I'm working on 10 more just like it. Each one is about a topic you can use to rapidly scale your business. All you have to do is visit Innovative Marketing Strategies, and I will give them all to you, along with links, updates, and a bunch more. 
There are no strings attached, no downside that I'm aware of. I don't even require an opt-in. So listen, this is fun to me. I'm here on this rock to learn, grow, and contribute. So I hope this helps. Now, if you want more, key in IMS321 on your mobile. In fact, if you go to the strategies page and find this video, right below it, I'm sharing a couple links. One of them features David Ogilvy of Ogilvy Advertising, who is a student of Claude Hopkins. <clears throat> he ran a front page ad in the 1950s, sharing 38 principles he learned after investing nearly $5 million in traced advertising result. In today's dollars, I hope you find this gift priceless.